Hi there. In this series of videos, we're going to explore some of the interesting aspects of the Peak Synthesizers engine. In this particular patch, we're going to explore the repeating envelopes. We're going to use the envelopes set to repeat and modulate various different aspects of the synth engine. We're then going to further modulate those envelopes using the LFOs. This is going to allow us to create a patch that is really quite nice and rhythmic, but it's got some really unusual and almost kind of random rhythmic qualities. It sounds very nice and almost a little bit like a Gamelan orchestra. But let's dive right in and see how we can create the patch. The real kind of uh, focus of the characteristic on this is the re-triggering envelopes. Um, and that's what we're going to explore in how to create this patch. We're going to turn on the envelope re-triggering. And then we're also going to use the LFOs to actually control and manipulate the positions of the different phases of those envelopes. Um, that's going to be the key feature of the patch, but of course we need to get a good bass sound to work with. So I've just initialized the patch here. And here we have a single sawtooth, oscillator one, just a single oscillator required for this patch. We can turn down two and three. Um, also, I'll bring up the ring modulation a little bit and then just knock the tuning of the second oscillator. Now that's just going to add a little bit of movement and interaction to the sound. Very, very subtle. Okay, let's bring the filter down because it's still quite a smooth kind of sound. So we'll just bring that down to around about here. There we go. Bring the resonance up a touch as well. Okay, maybe a bit too much there. We'll just bring it down. There we go. Now, I'm going to also bring in a bit of reverb. I absolutely love the reverb on Peak. It's one of its really, really stunning kind of features here. Um, although, one thing is, if you get it right the way up, it can be a little bit overpowering. So we're just going to add a little touch of reverb to, just to kind of get it sort of just working away in the background. I'm also going to bring up the chorus as well. Now, instead of having, you know, a full sort of a wobbly chorus sound, I'm actually just going to bring the rate right down to zero. And this actually stops the chorus in a single position. Uh, this is really quite useful. Again, just to add a little extra texture to that sound as well. Okay, so we're going to bring in a little bit of envelope control over the filter. Here we go. That's great. And also, I'm just going to just shape the sort of entry to the sound and the decay, bring the sustain down. So this is the amp envelope, of course, and I'm just bringing those uh, just to the right sort of position. There we go. Bring a bit more attack, maybe. Just soften it up a bit. There we go. That's great. Okay, great. The mod envelope, which is controlling the filter, again, we'll just bring that down and we'll just get a bit of attack on there. So I'll just... There we go, that's fine. Uh, mod envelope two, well, we're gonna start to use that to shape the oscillator, so we'll come to that in a moment. But for the moment, yeah, everything sounded good here. So that's our kind of core sound. Very, very nice, smooth kind of sound. Single oscillator, just a little bit of movement in there. But the key feature of the patch is the fact that we're gonna start to re-trigger the envelope. So let's go to the envelope menu. And if we go over to the amp envelope here, repeats are off at the minute, so let's just bring that all the way up to on. Um, you can, of course, choose a varying number of repeats for each of the, uh, each of the envelopes, but I'm actually just going to get them repeating indefinitely here. So it's just going to be a kind of a, an ongoing repeat. So now, if I press and hold a note and latch that, you can hear now we've got a little bit of movement in the sound there already. The amp envelope is repeating, it's reopening the, env uh, the amplifier every so often, and the mod envelope is just sort of peaking the filter a little bit there as well. Okay, so we've got the core sound running now, we've got the envelopes re-triggering, but now I'm going to start to play around with the position of the decay phase and the attack phase of the envelopes to get a bit of movement and interaction there. So, I'm going to go to my uh, mod matrix here, and I'm going to grab, let's see, let's go for LFO1, plus and minus, and for the destination, um, I'm going to take that to, uh, let's see, we'll, uh, we'll map that to the amplifier decay control, and we'll add in a depth there as well. So you'll now start to hopefully hear there's going to be a little bit of movement there on the amp decay. Uh, at the minute, the, uh, the LFO is set to be a triangle, so that's just... Um, uh, basically just ramping up and down, but actually I want it to be a sample and hold, and I want to sync that as well. So I'm going to sync this to around, let's say, 8 beats. Okay, so after 8 beats or so, the sample and hold position will change, and actually the decay position will, will automatically change by result. 
Okay, let's go to the next slot. And I'm gonna now take LFO2. So grab LFO2. Let's put that to destination of mod envelope decay for mod envelope one. And again, we'll add an amount to that as well. And now you start to hear there's a bit more movement arriving in the sound. Okay, so at the moment we've got the envelopes re-triggering. We've got the amplifier envelope triggering the amplifier and interacting with that with a sample and hold a random control over it. We have the mod envelope also uh, controlling the, uh, uh, the filter envelope depth as well. And actually I'm going to need to put this onto a sample and hold position. And again, I'm going to change the sync rate here to a 16th. So we'll start to hear a bit more of a, hopefully a bit more of a profound kind of change in the, uh, the rhythm. There we go. That's great. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take LFO three and I'm going to actually start to use that to control our attack part of the amp envelope. So let's choose LFO three. Now LFO three was uh, brought to um, uh, into, into peak for the 1.2 update and that was designed really so that we could start to modulate the effects parameters in the new modulation matrix for the effects but actually it's still completely available in the standard uh, mod matrix as well so we're going to use that now to just play around with the attack a little bit as well okay great now the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take modulation envelope 2 which is also re-triggering and I'm going to set that to control the pitch and let's see we don't need too much of that but let's just bring that down to around about there here you can hear the, the pitch start to move around a little bit but let's go to mod envelope 2 here and let's just get these values down so we don't need any attack there we want a bit of sustain not too much a bit of a bit of decay as well there we go there we go and we'll bring the release down to around about, around about there okay great so now we've kind of got the whole patch running now it sounds a bit kind of unusual just with a single note, we just have a single voice which is being held. So let's just take that off now. And if I start to play a few chords on this, you'll start to hear, hopefully hear this nice rhythmic interaction throughout all of the voices and the envelopes and the LFOs also controlling those. And in fact, if I just hold on a chord now, because each of the uh, voices have their own envelopes, you'll start to hear each of the voices triggering at different times. So if I just play a broken chord a little bit. So you'll see by re-triggering the envelopes and then having the LFOs modulate the different stages of those envelopes as well, we can get some very unusual and interesting rhythmic, generative kind of sounds. It's almost a little bit like a gamelan orchestra if you listen to it. It's kind of, all the notes are just sort of triggering in their own kind of nice little space and place. And it's a great way of just kind of opening up this instrument to be kind of almost, as I say, a self-generative sort of sound. So there we are. In that patch we explored how we can use the repeating envelopes and then further modulate the attack and the decay stages of those envelopes with the sample and hold LFOs. It's a great way to get a nice bit of random movement and rhythmic kind of qualities to your patches. It's also really fun to explore with this type of synthesis. Thanks very much for watching.